basically all the odds are against me. Do you like to record it? I want to say no. Oh boy, guys, I'm pretty nervous. I don't know if this is going to work out. We hit a tree, we had a little bit of a casualty. Oh. <laughs> We're having a sliding problem. We're sliding down, I'm running out the way. What's up guys, welcome back. We got a lot going on this week, but the first thing is last week on last episode, we finished one side of our wood fence. So it's time for the fun part. We're going to be staining it up, making it a nice color, and then hopefully putting on the clear coat also that's going to protect it. Yeah, that wood is out in the elements, so I don't want to spend too much time between putting it up and getting it sealed up because I don't want a bunch of rain soaking in on it. It rains here just about every day, and if it's not raining, it's super, super hot. So I don't want the wood to get all warped and beat up. I want to get some protection over it. So we're going to start there, and then we're going to catch up on a few more new updates we've been trying to plan our lives get a little more organized so we'll update you on that don't shake your head no we are trying all right so before we can get started obviously we have our beautiful plastered wall here we are using a sprayer for this because we think it's going to give us a much smoother look and so we don't want to ruin our plastered wall that was a lot of hard work so first thing we got to do is protect that and then it should be a pretty quick down the line. All right, y'all, got my mask on. I'm locked and loaded. Got my Wagner 5000 fully, a full clip of golden oak, and I'm ready to spray the block. Okay, it's looking really good. We got a nice light first color. We're gonna do a second coat and hopefully that doesn't go too dark, but I think it will be more saturated. It's gonna be a more even and I think it's gonna look really good. So wish us luck. Many of you tell us how much you enjoy watching our videos to just relax and take a break from your own lives. But if you're stressed, have anxiety, low mood, don't ignore it. Hoping these feelings will just go away will actually worsen how you feel in the future. Many people believe that therapy is only for clinical mental health issues. The truth is, if you've never been to therapy, probably no one's ever taught you how to deal with these emotions. No one told us anything about how to deal with the feelings of isolation and loneliness that we experienced, especially from our family and friends because of the lifestyle we live. I want to debunk this widespread misconception with the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to live happier and healthier lives. First, you can head on over to their site 
and use our link, betterhelp.com forward slash good, bad, ugly, and answer a few questions that's gonna help you get set up with a licensed therapist that's gonna specialize in what you're struggling with right now. And they do this in as little as 48 hours to help you get the help you need ASAP. BetterHelp can help you with coping skills, strategies, and a plan to help you live a better life. It can let you talk to a professional with years of experience helping others with struggles just like yours. BetterHelp can help you regain control of your life. And you can do it all by your phone, a computer, via phone call, video chat, or messaging. It's the easiest possible way to talk to a therapist. If you think this sounds like something you could benefit from, head on over to betterhelp.com forward slash good, bad, ugly. Also in our link, you could get 10% off your first month. So the next step, now that my stain is dry, we put two coats on it. Kristen loves it. She says, ooh, daddy, ooh, daddy. <laughs> she actually had a pretty funny joke. She's got the wedding on her mind. She said, hey, you think you could like spray tan me with that thing? I feel like you'd be a good spray tanner. And I said, Kristen, I don't think we're going to spray tan you with the Golden Oak and the Wagner 5000. No, That's... you got to get a different solution. But I feel like that spray gun. I mean, it's, I'm sure if you bedazzled it pink and, you know, took no, it into No, the a... tan solution inside, not the oak. Oh, you're saying it could be a solution. I don't want wood tan or stain on my body. Bro, if you put some glitter in this oak, you're going to look good. I could spray it on you. You'd look like a Greek goddess. So this does look like... So now, anyway, we're going to put our clear coat on it. This does look like it has a pigment. In yeah, it. and I didn't realize that until you just opened it. Yeah, I mean, this is peanut butter brown, so... It says clear. It says transparent, but... Clear. I mean, maybe... Uh -oh. We need to figure this out real quick. Yeah, we're going to have to throw a tester on this bad boy. All right, so I have a piece of board here that's stained two coats, just like the fence, but I don't want to put it on the fence first because I don't have to take it off if it don't look right. So I'm going to test it on this board, then I'm going to test it on the back that has no stain just to see what sort of pigmentation, what sort of color it adds. All right, so Big Mama saw it on that one board and said, and I quote, oh well, I think it'll be all right. <laughs> so I think it'll be fine as well. Um, it did make it look wet, but on the side that already had stain, it didn't really add much color. And we'll just do a light coat, step back and see, and then go, go again and again until we get the right procedure that we want. Maybe I'll go on the back side first. Okay. Okay guys, now that we got that part of the fence done, we are moving on to our next project. And our next project is one that we keep putting off, but we can't do it anymore. Today's the day we're moving our RV. Yep, I'm not exactly stoked for this because I could crash our whole humble abode and crash it into our wall. I'm not the best trailer backer upper. And you don't have the truck for Yeah, the Tacoma is a little undergunned. It did rain a ton lately, so Basically, all the odds are against me. But if you've been watching old Maddie, old Uncle Maddie for a while, you know that that's the way I like it, boy. And realistically, even if I crash my whole RV off the side of the road, I just get a better thumbnail for my loving YouTube and wife. No, no? I can't high five. Can't, can't crash it. So let's see if we don't crash it. All right, so first things first that I got to do is I got to get all of my things that extend away, all of my out, outtrusions. That swing away from the trailer, I gotta suck them all back in. I mean, suck in the walls, suck in the canopy, get this thing as slender as I can get her because I didn't build myself a wide gate. OK, 
Okay, now I'm gonna bring in the living room. Clean our stairs there, Maddie. I do believe I do need to. Hey, my old boots. Your old stanky boots. My old stanky boots. All right, so what's next is I got to let up the jack arms and, oh shoot, first I got to blow up the air tire. One of the tires is flat. Yeah, I got to put up the, put air in the tire. All right, so now I gotta get my feet stabilizers out. That's the bent one. All right, so a couple of these got bent. I don't know how they got bent. It definitely was not from me yes, pulling the trailer. Was. But they, some of them don't work with that one, so you gotta use the manual lifter upper. So this is the hard part. I don't have enough room with the cliff to angle the truck in here, jack it up and put the tongue on. I have to move the whole trailer a little bit with just manpower, but I do believe I could jack it up on this jack and it might just slide over, or I could put a strap on it to the truck and I'll be able to move it. I only need to move the tongue to about right here and then I'll be able to clear the wall. So this shouldn't be too crazy, but I'm glad I'm doing it here because I might have to do it to get it through the gate as well because it's pretty tight in the road and uh, we don't have much swing room there either so I may have to do this again out front so this will be a good practice run. All right, so I can have a little more control over it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a strap on it so I can slowly move it over. I ain't gotta move it real far. I don't wanna get the jerk on it though, even though I do feel like I can move it, I don't wanna get it going down this grade and then it slides further than I wanted it to. So we're gonna keep it controlled. We're gonna think about it. And you know, we're gonna solve our problems today. <laughs> All right, so I got her over enough. I only needed a few feet, so now I think I got a enough angle where I can make a little bit of angle with the truck. 
get her in there, get her on the hitch. But first I gotta put the hitch on the truck. And a lot of y'all ain't gonna like this, but I can go to Toyota and get the hitch set up if they make a, a thing with just four bolts. But I said, I can just go to the fair tree and get four bolts and put some old mangled one that I found. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna move forward with my life. So if you're thinking what looks a little abnormal here, Kirsten said, what's abnormal about this? And I said, well, generally you can use like a U-bolt or it's a special um, welded plate that goes on to, to add this on here. Um, I'm just using regular bolts and I'm putting it on top of the bumper because the suspension for the uh, Tacoma isn't really right for this. And I do hit the curbs going out. So I'm trying to get it up, use that extra four to six inches. Um, so that I can clear it more easily. I don't, it's not gonna make a big difference here. This is the old farm truck, the work truck, so I don't want it to get, you know, I'm not worried about it getting broken and tearing my bumper off. It's still through the steel underneath, but that's the reason I did that was for clearance. So don't at me in the comments. Y'all already scalded me over my fence and y'all got my dad real riled up. My dad loves to criticize me. So y'all got him in the comments just saying, boy, that fence that say never gonna work. And I said, dad, am I 38 years? I don't think I ever seen you build a fence one time, but all of a sudden when I build a fence, old Pappy the expert. So you, you sorry for that one, Tony. A random dog decided to show up for this event. Are you lost, dog? You look clean. You look like you must be someone's dog. Your boy. What's the matter? You think he's lost? Yeah, he's got some scabs. Don't stay around here, buddy. Go find your family. All right, so we got her in there. I feel good about that. Seems as if our setup is not going to work. It pretty much bent the whole thing forward. Yeah, it's going to work. I just got to put a backer plate on it. Just trying to skip. All right, so I got the backup plates on it. Worked a lot better. We're hanging tough now. Am I gonna hit that curb? I feel like it's gonna be close with that thing, but I think it's gonna be fine. You want to clear it? I want to say no. It doesn't quite look like I it. I want to say no too. And I'm going to drive off the cliff if I go anymore that way. Oh my god. Pull her over like we planned on. I mean, do I got room? If I got room, I can get her around. So we got her lined up in the middle, but I'm dealing with a drop off here. So I think what I need to do is I'm gonna put some plywood so that if I do scrape it, it scrapes the plywood hopefully instead of the concrete that we worked so diligently on. And then also I'm going to put some four by fours down to 
so that I can hopefully raise my tires up a little bit so that it scrapes the 4x4s instead of my concrete. So far, so good. But it found, oh, oh, oh. So most of the nerve wracking parts are over. The taco did great, even though the wheel wells are rubbing. Um, Bear is probably tripping in there, but the last hard part we got is this pretty steep grade that's really bumpy and it's tight trees on both sides and it's cliff on both sides. So I gotta run it down there. This is gonna be Bear's last roller coaster of the day. And then the last hurdle will be trying to turn around down there in the muddy clay. So we're gonna see where she lands. sliding problem. We're sliding down. I'm running out the way. Is it still sliding? Get a tree. We got a tree. We hit a tree, we had a little bit of a casualty. I hit this tree? Yeah, it's in the corner, I think busted a bit. Oh no. The frame ripped. You have to put that back on. <sighs> I told you the hard part wasn't over yet. Well, next week on Sailing GBU, fixing RV trim. <laughs> That's fine, that'll go right back. A little bit of silicone, a little hammer. Should be all right. You know, if that if that ends up being the whole thing, I'm gonna call it a dub. Look at it, now how, tell me how my cup didn't fall off my bumper. I'm out here hitting stuff. The reason that that happened, I'll give you a, an excuse because I got one preloaded at all times, was I was slipping back there in the mud. So I thought I had to go real fast, which I definitely think I did because I was still kind of getting stuck. So there's a little bit of a hill there. So I was like, I gotta keep my speed up and I didn't really think about my swing. I had two trees, should have cut that tree down a while ago, but they have pretty red flowers, so I hate cutting them down. But either way, I know I can save this, no big deal. Am I thrilled? Not really. Looks like I might've lost a little light bulb here too. Oh! <laughs> here, he's gonna try to reverse it back here. The reason we had to move the whole thing around in a loop is because we wanted our porch to be facing out that way.
All right, guys, it's kind of chilly down here. The sun's gone down. I'm getting cold. It's a lot. I feel cooler down here, right? Yeah, it gets cold in this bowl at night because of the water, I think. How crazy was that, guys? I was running down the road as the trailer was sliding down. I thought Matt was about to fly off with the truck off into the waterfall or I was gonna have to dive out the way, but it went. We got it down. Nothing broke besides the one smash into the tree. So I guess something did break. The light and that thing ripped off. Yeah, but that's the, if we had to get a boo-boo, that's where you wanted the boo-boo. I was really stoked on how able I was, how good I was able to back the trailer up. The taco did well. The bumper is a little banged up, but that's fine. That should be the heaviest lifting that it has to do for a while. One day, if I get a tractor, I can always use the tractor to move it around down here if I need to, a 4x4 tractor. So that'll be good. I'm feeling the peace down here. Um, I can't wait to get the animals down here, get everything moving forward. You know, maybe we need to build a pergola here with some solar on it. Who knows? You know, so one a day, deck. Yeah, deck, a bridge over to the river. And then, uh, you know, we never know what, what exactly we might do. But this is nice. It'll be a nice place for people to stay when they come visit, when we're done building the house. Now we can move forward with some projects. Moving this kind of was holding us back for a while. Um, you know, we wanted to put it here, but we had to clear the land first. And then obviously it does rain and get muddy through here. So we want to be able to get a flat spot and get the road a little bit better so that we will be able to drive down here when we get groceries. So I don't have to backpack them across the whole property. But I'm happy. I think this is going to be a lot more tranquil. We'll be able to get our animals set up a lot better. This is our flat land. No more living up there on the cliff with right by the road where I'm terrified the cats are going to run on the road and I'm scared of everything like that. So, you know, I'm hyped. It's Green Acres now. Now it's más tranquilo. So we got a lot of work coming up, but this is a big step into the future for us on this property. I feel great about it. We can finish our fence now on that side and we can get that whole thing snapped up. So stay with us, guys. We got a lot of work still to come. It's Yeah, we know how much you guys love watching us build fences, but that's life. You know, <laughs> nothing we can do about it now. We got to build fences. Well, we know what we're doing now, so that's just going to go real fast. We got to keep the lights on. So. And it's coming out really good. Like Matt said before, a lot of people were saying we were dummies for the way we put it up, but so far, so good. So we'll keep you guys updated. If it all goes to hell, we'll say... You guys were right. This whole thing popped off, but I'll own it. I'll own it. For now, it's... most people were like, "Oh, the first hurricane that's going to come down." I'm like, "Yeah, with a hurricane, all bets are off. When the hurricanes come, they blow all the houses down. That's the big bad wolf." So, I think it'll stay just fine. I'll tell you, I screwed. I screwed through it, and it holds my whole weight. I'm two. I'm 200 pounds, so it's uh, it holds strong. And I, that's why we went with the one buys. They're not the little bit thinner fence panels they're a full one by so i would drill it in all the way till i would feel that dimple just about come out so i have a good three quarters of thread in there holding it and realistically what i think i could do if i really want to get buck wild is i could back them off a little bit and i could just dump a bunch of wood glue down that side throw some clamps in i can really get buck wild because i am hell bent for leather that that fence ain't never coming down anyways thanks for watching guys we love you comment down below like subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next week bye